So we've got a new projector by Nexago. This is the PJ40. I wanna thank these guys for sending this over to review on the channel. Current pricing and more information will be down in the description below. 1080p native resolution, also supports up to 4K resolution. It's got automatic keystone correction. The projection distance up to 30 feet, screen size up to 300 inches on this one. And it has two 10 watt built-in speakers. Inside the box, of course, you've got a user manual. Looks like you've got an air filter, cleaning cloth, audio video cable. Looks like a little bit heavier duty power cable than other projectors I've tested. And pretty nice remote control here as well. You've got home, back, options, or menu. Okay and directional buttons, mute, power, and volume controls. As you can see, it already has the air filter in there. Nice silicone lens cap here. You can see the remote control sensor next to the logo. Pretty nice design overall. Here on the bottom, you've got an adjustable foot. You've got a speaker on each side. Here on the top, you've got a cover that slides open. Manual focus. Looks like you've got some controls down here in the corner as well. Power, home, back button, OK, and directional arrows. So here on the back are all of your ports. This one actually has an ethernet port, two USB ports, two HDMI ports, a headphone jack, audio video, remote control sensor, and where you plug in the power. So once you get the projector hooked up, you'll see you've got a pretty simple home screen with input shortcuts, file manager, more, office, mirror cast, iOS cast, and settings. Might be kind of hard to tell from my camera, but the picture quality on here looks really nice. Also has DLNA, Bluetooth speaker, and it's got the user guide on here, which is nice. You don't have to look for that. It also shows you how to use Miracast for Android and also has AirPlay and iOS cable cast for Apple devices. In settings, you've got network, Bluetooth, picture, fan, projection, update, system, and about. Interesting thing about this projector is you can adjust the fan speed, which is gonna make the image brighter or darker depending on which level you have it on. And then in picture, you can adjust things like picture mode, brightness, contrast, saturation, hues, sharpness, color temperature, and then you have red gain, green, and blue gain as well. In projection, you can choose different projector modes, auto keystone, 4D keystone correction, horizontal and vertical keystone correction, zoom adjust, and then display scale as well. You can also change length language, time zone, electricity boot, power on source, and the keypad tone under system. Just a quick test on my iPad and the picture quality was nice and clear. Text looks pretty sharp on here as well. So I think you could use this projector for presentations or those kind of things. You can even play mobile games on here without hardly any lag or delay. Again, the overall picture quality is really nice on here. Maybe not 4K TV quality, but for a projector in this price range, it's gotta be one of the top five that I've tested. It's definitely gonna be a good choice for watching your favorite streaming service, whether it be a Chromecast, Roku, Fire TV. I could easily see this as a TV replacement. And the speakers are nice and loud with decent sound quality. You would probably still wanna use an external speaker to get the best sound. But if you had to use the built-in speakers, I think you would get by in a medium-sized room. Here's a quick sample just to give you an idea of what it sounds like. And you may hear a little fan noise in the background, but not too bad in my opinion. If you want to use this projector for gaming, it's actually really nice for that. 
I didn't really notice much lag or delay when using a controller on my Xbox Series X while playing Rocket League and it feels almost like you were playing on a regular TV so this projector would be a nice addition to a game room or if you're just setting up your home theater it feels like a step up from some of the other budget projectors that I've tested recently. The only thing I see that's missing is autofocus but depending on what you're looking for in a projector this one seems to check most of the boxes as far as easy to connect devices in several different ways. It's got Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, screen mirroring, and the screen is going to be bright enough, good enough built-in speakers, and one you should definitely put on your list in my opinion. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishby Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Mm-hmm.